In this question, we will use binomial theorem to find the specified terms. Here we have a very important formula, but before that, this is the binomial theorem formula, which you can see everything is in detail. Now, th this formula is for any specified terms. So this k plus 1, n, k, everything, I'll tell you with the example. Let's go to the first example itself. Here we have to solve for the third term. Now, k is very important. That is... Whatever term they have asked, minus 1. The term, that is term, minus 1. K will be over here. They have asked you third term, minus 1, that's 2. K value is 2 over here. N value is over here, whatever is raised to the power. The first term and the second one are A and B respectively. So what is the formula? What is expansion exactly? It's N, C, K. And then we have the first term, that's N minus K. And then the last term, that is B to the power, just K. You need to remember this. Now let's just substitute. What do we substitute? What is n? It is 7c. What is k? 2. First term is x to the power. Now we have 7 minus 2 and the next term 2z to the power 2. Now here you can use the formula or just use the calculator and solve it up. It's up to you. I'll show you the calculator and the formula both over here. If you're using the calculator, it will be 7, that is over here, and then shift and division symbol use you C, and then you need to press 2. Here we go, that's 21. I'll just write it out over here, but in your exam, remember, write the K, all the N like this, given, you need to write K value, what is N, N is 7, A value is X, and B value is 2Z. It's better to write all the given and then put the formula and solve. So if you're doing the formula, the formula is given like this. It's n factorial divided by whatever is the denominator. It's written as k, so I'll take it as k factorial. And n minus k, the whole factorial. See, what happens is, what is n factorial? It's 7 factorial. That's whatever is up about. Divided by k factorial is 2 factorial. n minus 2, n minus k will be n minus 2. That is 7 minus 2, that's 5 factorial. So here it will be 7 times 6 times 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 factorial cancels off 2, 1 times 3 times 7, 3 times is 21. You can ignore this, you can directly write it, but this is how exactly we get it. Even if you don't write this, if you write the proper given terms, the substitution, the formulas, you will get full marks. But what about this? x raised to 7 minus 2 is power 5. And here it is 2z, so remember it's 2 power 2 and z power 2. So this is 2 and then we have 21 x power 5 and what is this it is 4 and we have z power 2 so we can do 21 times 4 that's going to be 84 x power 5 z power 2 and that's the final answer that will be the third term in this you can see here what is the third term it's 84 x power 5 z power 2 isn't that easy with just that formula, let me write it out again. Let me write how you need to write it in detail in your exam given. So first, let's write n equals 6. What is k? k equals 4 minus 1, that is 3. a equals y and b is equal to. Now, remember, it's minus, so it's minus x, the whole power. Uh, that's it. Now, we will use the formula. It's n, c, k, a to the power n minus k and b to the power k. And we are n is 6c3 and we have y to the power 6 minus 3 and b is minus 3z to the power 3. And then we can use the calculator and even over here see minus 3 raised to power 3. We'll just use the calculator to get the values. To get c it is 6 and then shift and division symbol gives you c value and then 3. So it's 20. Over here we write 20 y to the power 3 what about minus 3 raised to power 3 it will be negative 27 see if it was if it was any even numbers let me show you even numbers say 2 it'll be positive say power 4 it will also be positive but whenever it's odd numbers say 5 it'll be negative because minus sign remains now this is 3 so it'll remain and then what do we have it is x power 3. Now you can do 27 multiplied by 
um, 20, so 27, 50, 6, that is 560, uh, 540, sorry, my bad. It's 540 minus 540. Just use the calculators to be on the safe side. And here we go. So it's negative 540, x power 3, y power 3. That must be the final answer. And here we go. It's minus 540, y power 3, x power 3, or x power 3, y power 3. However you write it, it's, an, it's fine. Okay, now here you can see it is first term is y. So that doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, you can even write x first. It's up to you. Now let's do this one here. See, it's eighth power. If you had done the binomial theorem, it had been such a big expansion and then you need to figure out which is the middle term. But this formula helps us in such a, I'm not writing the given again and again. I'll just write the formula, which is very important. And it is n a power n minus k b power k. So here, n is 8. 7th means c, will, c value will be 6. And here we have 2a raised to the power 8 minus 6 and minus 2b raised to the power, it is 6, not 8. I was just confused and I was about to write 8. That would mean everything was wrong. The exact value is 6, not 7, 6. Now let's use our calculators and figure out the values. You might be thinking, why don't we just do 8, C, 6, and then directly multiply all these 2 to the power 6 and everything, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 6. Because it's writing part, let's do the steps properly. So over here, now I'm writing 28, and then I will raise this. See, now this is 2 to the power 2, that's 4, but what about minus 2? Minus 2 raised to the power 8, my, uh, it's 6. So that's going to be positive 64. Why? Because it is uh, even power. So here it'll be 4 times a to the power 2. And then we have 64 times b power 6. And now we can multiply all of this together. So that is 64 times 4 times 28. And here we go. It's 7,168 a squared b raised to the power 6. Now that is the final answer. Here we go, it is 7168 a squared b to the power 6. You can skip steps. We also, there are some problems which steps are skipped. It's up to you. As long as you have written this much, that is more than enough. Now this one, I'm not going to write the given and the formula as well. I hope you know the formula. Now I'm just going to solve this out quickly. It'll be 6. Here it's 6 terms, so it's power 5. I mean k is 5. And then it is 4x raised to 6 minus 5 and 5y raised to 5. There's always k value over here. And now this one will be 6 because the difference from 6 to 5. And But we need the calculator over here. There are huge numbers. So it will be 4x power 1. That, that's it. 5 raised to power 5 and y to the power 5. We'll just put everything in the calculator here. Please remember these are all multiplied. So you can see 6C5, there's a difference of 1, so it'll be 6 itself. 6 times 4 times 5 raised to the power 5. The answer is 75,000. So here, 75,000 x y to the power 5. That will be the final answer. Very straightforward. That's the answer. And what about this one? Here we need the fifth term, but it's raised to the power 9. So n c k a power n minus k and b to the power k so what we write is 9 c 4 why because 1 uh, less than 5 is 4 a to the power now not a it's x to the power 9 minus 4 is 5 and b raised to again not b it is minus 4 raised to the power 4 so now we can just use calculator and solve it directly. I'm not doing all the methods. I'm directly jumping to the answer. But you guys, please do the methods. I'm just doing it directly here. Minus 4 raised to the power 4. If you want the detailed method, please go back in the video for the first and the second problem. I've done all the detailed method with the given and all the formula proper substitutions. 3, 2, 2, 5, 6, x raised to the power 5. So there we go. That will be the fifth term. Now here it is. 3, 2, 5, 2, 5, 6, x, 5. x raised to the power 5, sorry. 
here as well there are simple terms you know if there are more than one just remember when you're raising it to the power both the terms get the power say for example 2 times c raised to power 8 it'll be 2 power 8 c power 8 but here there are single terms they are very simple so it'll be n c k a to the power n minus k and b to the power k so here we have 8 c 4 no not 4 fourth term that means k value is 3 1 less than that and then we have a raised to the power n that is 8 minus 3 that's going to be 5 it's not a again i did a mistake it's c and then multiply it with 6 raised to the power 3 i can put this everything in the calculator and get the answer calculating just gives you the coefficient the number only it'll be 8 c 3 multiplied by 6 raised to the power 3 and it is 12096 so it's 12096 c raised to power 5 that should be the final answer that's the fourth fourth term over here you can see that's it that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video